<laughs> How you going? I'm Johnny from Poor Choice Home Brewing. And today, we're gonna wash some yeast again. This is the second wash of, third wash, sorry, of USO5. I believe it can be used, yeast can be used lots of time to get off flavorings and I figured I should at least get some off flavoring on the third go. Indistinguishable on the second one. But let's see what we got, hey? Yeah, starting with fresh water that I managed to spill all over the place. And then heat it up to 72 degrees. I actually decided to show you how I protect everything from the element with a simple strainer and a bit of string attached to it. And the grains, adding the grains. <gasps> and the mess I made. And of course my heat wrap insulation to maintain the temperature. Not that it's hard to keep anything cool up here. And again doing my experiment where I drain a bit of wort out and tip it back on top. The idea is, my idea is that the sugar gets drawn to the bottom with the water and ideally the grains get rinsed out again. Ooh, and another quick mess. And a bit of spudge, 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 spudge. And removing that because that gets pretty hot and sticky. And I like to save every bit of work. First top edition, 17 grams of super fry. <laughs> at 30 minutes. And 15 minutes left, we've got 18 grams of Galaxy. And I added a Delta Flock tablet too. No difference, what the idea what the difference between a delta flock and a world flock is. Oil. Time to cut the power. Give it a little bit of time for the board to slow down. Now we've got 33 grams of cascade. And 25 grams of galaxy. Wow. That's a weird way of doing that. And 15 minute whirlpool. Well, this is the first time using whole hops and they float. Did not know that.
happened here was, because I'd never used whole hops before and don't really have any kind of filter over the end of my spigot, it clogged up the spill spigot with a hop cane and I had to rack it out to get it all out. I also even blocked up my racking cane. get all the air out of those tubes as you can. Now we come time to fermenting. We're doing a gravity reading and the original gravity came out at 1.046. Not quite the raise from a hydrogen that we've seen before, but it's a drinkable beer, that's the important thing. People say you can get a little bit more aeration out of the word if you put it through a sifter first, and that's what I'm doing here. And I was just trying to get that last little bit of sediment out of the bottom so we get the full flavour. I don't think I had enough for the experiment, but I really don't want to waste too much beer on my poor choice. Now there's my washed yeast. And my one sachet of USO5. Shake, shake, shake. This one was a little bit hard to shake. Okay, and in a few days, I would also dry hop that with 23 grams of Galaxy on the third day. Now, if you do want to follow along and you do want to do this recipe, it'll be in the description. Here are the important things. So, as we already set established, the original gravity came out at 1.046. And the fresh yeast, the final gravity came out, which is this one, 1.005, giving it an alcohol content of 5.38%. And the wash yeast, final gravity came out at 1.005, which is exactly the same, and we had exactly the same alcohol content. Now, I haven't really drunk much of this. I had a quick sip while we are going on then. They're pretty similar. Let's try it again, though. I mean, as we can see, this is your washed yeast, and this is your fresh yeast. I think the fresh yeast is easily the cleaner of the two, and this is obviously the hazier, cloudier one, whatever you want to say. But what does it come down to on flavour? Walter! Leave those flies alone. Okay. Fresh yeast. This is a really bitter beer. Not quite as bitter as your VB or your 4X, but... It's definitely better than both of them. Yeah, I really can't smell anything when people say you gotta do that. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, okay. That one just tastes a little bit dirtier. Still better than VB and 4X, but this one's easily the better one of the two. I think I can see a little bit of the yeast on the bottom and maybe I got a bit of that. I'm just gonna say easily the fresh USO5. I'm gonna leave the washed yeast at about that number. Three uses, three uses out of the one yeast. I really didn't have much luck harvesting it the fourth time. So 
I'm gonna leave it at that. Again, it did work. It most definitely made beer. If you wanna try it, you're an adult, you can do it. But easily, fresh USA 5. It's six bucks at your local home brew. It's not really that expensive and it's not gonna cripple you financially. So on that note, we're gonna finish this video. If you like this video, please click like. If you wanna watch more of them, click subscribe and ring the bell. If you have a good idea for a poor choice, please write it down in the comments and I might even experiment with later. Until then, I'm Johnny. Sometimes you just learn more from poor choices. Catch ya.